not a spotted cat in the sun, but a tree agama. Isn't this a very beautiful lizard? So this is a particular type of lizard that once it goes into breeding, then the head of the male, which I think this is what it is, it goes of a very, very dark blue color, very stunning blue color. I think it's just coming out of its breeding season now, so we can't really appreciate how bright the head is going to be. But you can see just how it's hanging on to dear life on the bark of this fantastic leadwood tree, just sunning itself. Very, very long creature. Look at the length of the tail, the fingers, well, rather the toes. And how just how well it's camouflaged against the tree. It was actually Craig who spotted it. I think Craig's got a knack for spotting things on the move, especially if they look like lizards or chameleons. And there he is, not moving, standing perfectly still, just soaking up the sun. Like uh, you guys know, the reptiles, they need the heat to start the... Uh, gearing their metabolism up they don't use the food like we do to create body heat so they've got to absorb it from the environment that they're in and this is why a lot of the time you'll see lizards agamas um, crocodiles just sunning themselves just waiting for the energy that they absorb from the sun to start pretty much gearing up all of their metabolic processes and i think it's a good spot it's got a nice view the dam is around here so not too bad Leonardo, well, a very tiny dinosaur, I can tell you, if you were wondering what dinosaur this is. <laughs> it's, um, if I were to go next to it, which I'm not going to do because I'm afraid I'm going to spook it or chase it away if I come a bit closer to it. But it's roughly about the size of a human hand, a large hand. So it's uh, a big lizard. It's called a tree agama or the blue-headed tree agama. Um, the females are normally of a brownish color, so more of the color that you see that this guy has on his body. And the head, once it goes into mating, it becomes of a very, very blue, dark, dark blue color. Very pretty, very striking. So when they start trying to attract the females, they'll hang on a tree like it's doing now, and then they start moving the head up and down, making a few funny noises to try and attract the females. So you see, at least in the uh, in, when it comes to agamas, then it's the lizards that have got to do all the wooing. The males are the ones that got to put their makeup on and then just start trying to get all the girls to come to them. But I think for now, it's just sunning and enjoying an afternoon. Sorry, um, Megan, I couldn't quite hear you. Lara, let's see if maybe I can get a bit closer just to give you guys an idea of how big it is. And I'm gonna try to maybe put my hand n next to it. Just afraid that if I do, then I'm gonna chase it away. Um, let's see, maybe if I come from a distance, we'll be able to... Ah, it's already gone. Well, it was roughly about this big. I would say, Craig, do you agree about the size of a hand? So, not a fully grown adult. Obviously, when they're born, they're a lot smaller and then they start growing up. But um, I think this particular one has just now retreated into the hole in the tree. Sorry for disturbing you. 